Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. Uh, but um, oh my god, just press it in with a pen or something. Oh, it's perfect. It'll start back up. Okay, I'm in the car right now. Can you make the formula? I'm gonna be home and disaster the world has ever seen. A week since people all around the world simply vanished off the face of the earth. People everywhere are still struggling to come to terms with the reality of what has happened. Actual numbers may not be known for years, but initial estimates are in the hundreds of millions. Even more unbelievable and terrifying is the fact that every child from every country is among the missing. We are living in a world of chaos and confusion. Physical devastation is catastrophic and the cleanup process has only just begun. one earthquake has hit California just one day after another earthquake which is now being described as a foreshock and dozens of aftershocks. You felt some shakes at 9:10 this morning. This is just under an hour ago. It was an earthquake. 
The worst drought in 60 years is causing massive food shortages and famine in central and southern parts of the country. Somalia has been racked by years of little rain and decades of conflict. Malnutrition rates in Somalia are among the highest in the world. One child's mother makes a desperate plea for help. We are dying in the absence of immediate humanitarian assistance. Where is the UN? Where is the Muslim world? Please come to our aid. We are suffering a lot, so the world should take action to save our lives. The humanitarian crisis that is unfolding in Yemen is the UN's uh, uh, head of the World Food Program, David Beasley. David, great to have you back on the broadcast. Uh, you have described what's happening today in Yemen as catastrophic. You just got back uh, from the country. Tell us the situation there. This is a nation of 29, 30 million people. 16 million people don't know where the next meal is coming from. We feed about 13 million, and out of that, 5 million of them are knocking on the door of famine. Literally don't know if they're going to survive. We need about $160 million per month just to avoid famine. And we're running out of funds, and we're running out of fuel. The UN Secretary General uh, recently said that if you don't feed people, you feed conflict. The flu season is off to its earliest stage. to be a previously unknown variant of the 40s. Catching many experts off guard. Today I was feeling like maybe I Back on the breaking news, leading with unconfirmed reports of a smallpox outbreak. Small outbreak is a highly rehearsed scenario. And National Guard units converging There's on no a trains. hospital in Central Africa. The bridges are closed. It's more than This is a very real danger. More than a There's not enough vaccines. Let me stop you there. This is not a panic situation. An entire American city. Well known as the Green Poison, Central Park has been converted to a mass burial ground. Power outages, gas line leaks, fires. The government is expecting another night of widespread looting. The people of New York are begging for more to come. Our first responders are either dead or resources available. We treat them like animals. It's not a job. We're not trained for. today a warning to Russia from America's top diplomat. Jerusalem's unhappy heart, an area holy to Jews and Muslims alike, some of the worst violence in years. Outside the Al-Aqsa Mosque, or Temple Mount to the Jews, Palestinians threw rocks at Israeli police, who fired tear gas, stun grenades and rubber bullets. This the anniversary of Israel's capture of East Jerusalem 54 years ago. More than 300 Palestinians were injured, along with 21 Israeli police. The latest flashpoint in one of the world's most intractable disputes. Videos posted on social media showed chaos inside the mosque early this morning, where many Palestinians had stayed all night. They threw stones or fireworks at Israeli police, who fired stun grenades from outside. This, the Islamic world's third most holy site, 
near the end of the holy month of Ramadan. There are many, dozens of injured, dozens of uh, people who were injured from the bomb here and the bullets. It's, it's amazing. Uh, this is a praying place, not for a uh, fight. Just outside the old city, a dispute with an Israeli driver ended with him knocking a man down with his car after apparently losing control. He was set upon by Palestinians until an Israeli policeman intervened by firing into the air. Israeli police were also filmed repeatedly kicking a Palestinian they had captured as he lay on the ground. We are about to turn this planet into a paradise, unimaginable, only a few short weeks ago. Ten oasis regions, where each delegate is given complete control over his respective area. True global community, a true world of peace. This marks the beginning of our seven years of peace, of seven years. This marks the beginning of the rise of the Antichrist. He will control ten kingdoms, which in turn will control the world. The Antichrist will sit in the temple of God and he will declare to the whole world that he is God. Upon each of you, I grant all the power and authority due to your new positions. You are now kings and queens in your own lives, bringing prosperity and plenty 